Hey, what's up? This is Monty from Escape the Fate. Our new album comes out November 2nd, self-titled, Escape the Fate. Pick it up soon. This is the death of me. I first started playing guitar like about middle school, like eighth grade. I actually moved school, so I lost a lot of my friends. And I, I don't know, I just picked up the guitar because that was a fun thing to do for me. And I also, you know, wanted to learn, so I went to the shop and picked up a guitar magazine, which was Guitar World. Thank you. And basically, just started playing from there and got my first guitar from my grandpa. It was. A, Seven Sheen Jackson, because at the time I was fans of uh, new metal bands like Korn, Orgy, all that it was big and very popular at the time, and still are. But I started playing, picking up, and went from there. Got into more classical style music, more um, 80s rock, 70s. Just kept diving into all the years and decades of music. It was awesome. I started really developing my playing and soloing with um, Van Halen because he would always, the way he would always use a pick, like he would scream when he would bend his solos. And that was a big, that was like, a, that would get my attention a lot. And Zach Wilde. Zach Wilde was a big favorite of mine. And um, yeah, some of the techniques also I was learning was sweep techniques. And at the time, that was. A, that was a really cool new thing I learned then. Issues came together when, um, yeah, I was sitting at home jamming on a couple of riffs and some tight rhythms, and I wrote Issues in about like two hours, real quick song, and like, I don't know, everything just locked up for that song. This guitar like basically sang to me, I guess, on that song. So it was actually really, really cool. <laughs> Uh, when I play this riff, I do it all downstroke and I try to get that nice pinchy squeal in it. You hear it with this. And then in the verses, I start palming, but I do all downstrokes to give it a nice tight heaviness, which is like this. Fast, it sounds all tight like this. And when it gets uh, closer to the chorus, we go into the pre-chorus, which is basically the same riff, but it does this, something like this. And I leave off on that harmonic right there at the fifth fret harmonic. Um, I play a six string down a whole step to drop C, and I do basically the root notes are still like I do octaves of the riff. <laughs> And then on the descending part of that, I um, start playing the octaves of the fret like this. Here's a little bit slower. So the root note climbs with the high riff, octave riff. Here's a chorus of rhythm. And 
during the middle part of the chorus, when I hit the eighth fret, I do um, a full on chord to brighten it up, brighten up the sound like this. And here's the lead to the chorus. And it has a chorus pedal on it. it. has a boss chorus with the depth turned all the way up. Here's a guitar solo from Issues. <laughs> On the issue solo, I use a wall pedal and I use the, also the whammy bar at the same time and pick up the note. Kind of like this. The second time I use a, a harmo natural harmonic on the ninth fret. Try to get the nice good scream out of that one. And this is it combined. Then I go into a bendy lead without the ball. And then hammer-ons on the 15 to 12. Then a little climb up, hammer-on to end the solo. Do it again.